I wanted to talk about a sex scandal involving a Catholic priest. Now, this story was very shocking to me, not necessarily because I'm shocked at the thought that a priest would be involved in a sex scandal. But what really is striking about this particular story that we're going to talk about is all of the individuals involved here are consenting adults exclusively. And that is pleasantly surprising. So let's get to the details here. Sky Paloma of Raw Story explains a former Louisiana Catholic priest has pled guilty to a felony charge of obscenity after he video recorded a threesome with two alleged dominatrixes on a church altar, NOLA.com reports. Travis Clark was handed a three-year suspended prison sentence along with three years of supervised probation and a $1,000 fine. The report adds that the 39-year-old was serving as pastor at Saints Peter's and Paul Catholic Church in Pearl River one night in September 2020 when a passerby noticed that the lights were on inside the church and looked through the window and saw a half-naked Clark having a sex romp with two women in corsets and high-heeled boots atop the altar. When police officers arrived in the scene, they found the tripod used to record the scene still standing along with the sex toys that were scattered about. Despite the charges, police determined the incident was consensual. So I've got to say that this Catholic priest was very brazen because not only was he engaged in a three-way with two dominatrixes, but they had a camera out with a ton of sex toys, I'm assuming dildos, pocket pussies everywhere, and they were doing this in the church. So I feel like, did you not expect to get caught? I mean, what's going on here? But at the same time, even though I guess this is technically public indecency, he really didn't do anything wrong. None of the individuals here did anything wrong based on the details that we have. It's just that they were doing this in a public setting. And had they been in the privacy of a bedroom, then really there wouldn't be a problem here. Now, of course, because the church disallows sex from priests, this is bad by their standards, but for my standards, if three consenting adults want to engage in this activity, nothing wrong whatsoever. There's no abuse. This is all consensual. So it's uh, it's a little bit, I guess, bizarre that the one time or the one of few times that a Catholic priest is held accountable for sex acts, it's when he's engaged in sex with adults. Now, I don't want to downplay just how horrific the Catholic Church has been and the abuse that they have traumatized children with for years. A database from Abuse Lawsuit has tracked 6,000 instances of sex abuse by Catholic clergy members just in the United States. And we're not talking about consenting adults here. We're talking about them molesting children. Now, some states are worse than others. For example, Pennsylvania has 1,000 victims that have been identified with priests covering up sexual abuse for decades, pressuring victims to not report the abuse and convincing law enforcement to not investigate alleged abuse. And of all the priests credibly accused of sexual abuse, as NBC News reports here, 1,700 of them have almost no oversight by the church or law officials, and some of them are now teachers and coaches and counselors, or they live near playgrounds. So not only are they still with the church, but they could strike again. And as shocking as these numbers are, as high as the numbers are of child sex abuse victims from Catholic priests, there are potentially thousands more who didn't come forward. So it's just, it's so shocking to see a story with the priests getting busted for a sex scandal when... If they're going to be busted for any scandal, these are the scandals that I'd prefer to see as opposed to them abusing children. Because this church has not taken accountability, they haven't cleansed the church of these pedophiles, and they're still there. They're still around children, and this is completely unacceptable. And again, we don't even know all of the potential victims that haven't come forward. We don't know if accused individuals or individuals who committed sex abuse are still in the church. Arguably, many are, and the whole situation is genuinely sickening. So I'm sorry, I don't have much anger because this one Catholic priest decided to have a three-way with some dominatrixes. Look, I mean, if you wanted to do things like this, perhaps you shouldn't have become a Catholic priest because they require you to repress your sexual urges, but this right here is fine. This is reasonable. This 
is not a problem. The only issue, as I repeated earlier, is the fact that they were doing this in a public setting and somebody walked by, saw the lights on, and saw a bunch of naked people fucking. But that is orders of magnitude more acceptable and permissible than what the Catholic Church and what priests in particular are usually up to. So really, we need accountability. The church is disgusting, they're reprehensible morally, and yet they claim to be the arbiters of morality and speak to God directly. I don't believe in God, but I'd imagine that if God did exist, he wouldn't be too happy with the Catholic Church. Wet, 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 ass, ass, he word, he word.